everybody, it's Sam and Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I've got a origami photo album come scrapbooking collage kind of thing. It's entirely up to you how you want to use this. I've done two variations in two sizes, but you can do any size you want. So the first one I've done is this one, which is for myself, so I didn't want to make two of these. And this is using 8 by 8 paper, so it gives you a 4 by 4 square and I've just put it together with a little belly band and this one is some um, home decor so this is to hang from your wall so you open it up and basically inside here I've filled it with some of my favorite wedding photos all in black and white which I've had lying around for some time now there are 10 of this one and then you can see the bottom there so the idea is is that this hangs down I've got an area for it that I've already um, arranged in my craft room and then it will hang from this hook here and I've just got a nice little quote there um, together is a beautiful place to be um, you can put more quotes you can put anything in it you don't have to obviously do it how I have and then on the back I have continued the love theme and I've got uh, what love means there and then I've got these a little couple and just all nice gooey soppy quotes <laughs> um, so I really loved doing this one I just had some fun with it and kept it simple black and white which is what I like and then there's the top so you can have this hanging any way you want so like I said that's using 8 by 8 and that's having it in that format or you can do this way so this is using 6 by 6 papers which gives you a 3 by 3 and basically I have um, attached a ribbon onto these two here and these ones I'm going to give as gifts and I thought these are lovely ways just to get you know just to send a little something to somebody or um, a nice way to maybe give to your bridesmaids um, all kinds of different things but basically this one is exactly the same opens up and this one has got six of the sections and you can see how I've just started putting some pictures in just to you know just for the purposes of the video really but when the pictures aren't in that's what they're like you can almost open them up and then once the pitch goes in it makes them flat okay so that's the front and then there's the back and again you can put things on here if you want to or keep them blank I like these papers so I'm going to keep these ones blank and again I've just popped a little um, quote on the top there a moment lasts all of a second but a memory lives on forever and I thought that was quite nice considering I'm keeping pictures in these so that's another one and I've used different colorways then I've used this gold and then this is obviously just again using the black and white and these papers are do crafts um, paper mania capsule geometric neon okay if you like this style if you click the little icon around here now um, it will take you or if you just click on it it will drop down some other videos that I've done with the concertina style um, so if you do like this style and you want to check out some other ideas then click on that link and it will drop them down for you so this is really straightforward nice and easy and you need very little um, tools so you don't need a scoreboard and things like that it's um, very much paper folding so I'll just do that one back up and pop all them to one side so I've already done I'm doing another six so I'm doing another one of these because I need another one so I have already got here four that I've done and then I've got two more so like I said this is using six by six papers so raid your paper stash and see what ones you've got if they're seven by seven that's fine if they're five by five that's fine and um, it's entirely up to you okay so what you want to do I want this to be the pattern that you see on the corners here so these are the little frames for the photos so whatever color you want that to be you then want to flip it over okay these are lovely these are old stamping up papers that I've got left so they're, they're both nice but I wanted this polka dot so this is the side that's going to be inside you want facing you and all you're going to do is fold first of all fold the paper in half like so okay and then you're going to fold in half again so you're meeting that middle crease okay then rotate it and fold it in half again so you should have four long tri uh, rectangles okay then rotate it and you want to fold in half again and repeat so fold halfway rotate it and then fold halfway again so now you should have a square with lots of little squares all in it then grab one of your corners, I'm just going to bring it in, let me just come in a little bit there just so you can see a bit better. So you've got these four big squares here, what you want to do is fold in half 
So this point meets the center point of the big square, okay? Let's bring that one out, then rotate, and again, just bring that down into the corner like so, okay? Then rotate again, and bring that one down like so. And then again, rotate, and bring that one into the middle like so, okay? Hard to see on here, but there you go, catching light, you should have four big triangles and then you've got all those squares. Then what you want to do is go to the one of the corners again and you're going to bring it up and fold it so that now it comes to the middle of the four, you've got those four smaller squares. This square here, you want to bring that down, that fold it over so it meets the middle of the square and keep that folded down. So rotate it again and like I said, just fold that in just so it meets the corner like so. Okay, and then again, bring that one down and again with the last one there. That's what you should have, okay? Now what you want to do is fold the whole side here in half and then you want to bring, sorry, yeah, fold it in half and then bring up the two sides like so. So you're just following all the creases that you've made. You're not making a new crease here. If it doesn't meet, just pull it up a little bit. Because what you want to do is when it folds flat, you want that to be completely flush there. You can see there, that one naturally falls down. It's slightly off. So just pull it forward a little bit and then just reburnish that piece there. So you get them all nicely lined up like so. Then rotate, fold it in half, keep your finger in the middle there and bring one side down and bring the other side down. And again, just pull them in a little bit there. And that one there. Okay, so that's what you should have. Then on your side piece here, just bring it up and it will crease along that bottom there and push that whole piece down and as you push it down just kind of help make sure those triangles are pushed in there and it will all fall into place like so okay so again this side here bring that up and then push it down and as you push it down just push in the two sides there and it will all just follow those little creases once it's all folded flat just grab your bone tool and just go around and burnish all of the edges all of the score lines there, just so it all uh, lies a bit more flat. Okay, so that's what you want. So again, I'm gonna show you it again. I'm not gonna speed it up. So there's your paper. That's the, the front that I want exposed on the corners. So flip it over so you should have the side that you don't want. And again, Hold all of those lines first. Rotate, fold in half again. Okay, so you've got all of those squares. Then grab one of the corners and bring it in to the center. Okay, and then again the corner and bring it into this centre. Okay, then with the two here, fold it down, finger in the middle and bring each one over. And rotate, fold it over. And again, bring in each side, like so. And then on the edge there, you're just bringing it up, making sure those triangles here are all in the corners and just bring it down and it should just follow along those lines. If it doesn't, just help it along a little bit. And then just burnish all those score lines again. 
Again, lift it up. Okay. So you want to go ahead and do that for your other four pieces, or you might be doing a really long one like I did. And if that's the case, then you want to um, obviously make sure you've got enough squares um, before you do it. So I've got three that are polka dots, and I've got three with these swirlies on. So I'm going to do one after the other like so. When you do choose how many you want, make sure you've always got an even number because you want to have this side up this side, this way and the back facing that way. If you have an odd number, you'd have that one facing out and you don't want that like so, okay? Right, so start with your one that you want to use first. So this is this one. What you want to do is lift the right hand side out and bring it right down like so. So you're folding it outwards as opposed to inside. Grab some glue and you just want to put a splodge of glue in each of those little triangles inside there and just stick that down. Get your bone tool just to spread out that glue like so. Okay, now basically what's going to happen is, is this is going to slide in between this bit here of the next one. But what I found is although that joins it's slightly not meeting completely, if you just grab your scissors, snip off the edge a little bit and then just cut a wedge off of it, off of each side. And get some of the glue and just pop a thin layer on both sides and then now when you put this in it will match up much more flush. Match up much more flush? <laughs> you know what I mean. You get a much much better finish. Okay, now once you've put it in, just before it sets completely, just fold it together just so that that glue, as it's setting, it's kind of you know setting in the position that it's gonna always be. Because then when that opens, and if it's on, you know, being kind of propped up or stood up on its side, that's how it will be. Okay, so like I said, that glue dries instantly. So now the next one, so again, bring that one up and fold it down so it's now folding outwards. Get some glue, splodge it in there. Let that all spread out. And then again, cut a bit off. I mean, it's optional, see how yours goes. You, you might decide you don't want to cut anything off, um, but I just found you just got a bit more of a nicer finish overall. So again, thin bit of glue, and grab your next one and pop it in there like so. And then with this one, because it's concertina, so those two are folding that way, this one's going to fold back on itself. Okay, so again, just do that each time. So the next one that goes in is going to fold up. So you're always going to have two facing each other that are going to be sandwiched together. Okay, so already there I've got my first three and that's how it's coming together. Like I said, don't worry about all this coming out because once you put your picture in, so for example, pop that in there, and just slide it in your four corners. Already now that all comes down. Look how much flatter that is compared to that. Now what you can also do is put a bit of glue, splodge a bit of glue in there and squeeze it down. Okay. But once you've done that, that means that's it then. You know, those are kind of set in there. So if you're keeping it for yourself, you maybe want to change them later on. I would say don't glue it. But if it's a gift to someone, then glue it down. Okay. So I'm going to carry on and do the rest of mine. Okay, so I have stuck all of mine down now, so it will, first one folds in like so, and then the rest just all like that, okay? So when it's up, it will be like so. So now what I've already done is flip it over, and on each end I've just gone and put some tape on. So now this is where you need to decide whether you want it to be a, like an, a, a, a picture frame, a piece of um home decor and in that case you're going to have it hanging down like this and what you want to do is you want to get your so I'll just use this piece here as an example is put some glue in either side of this end piece here and put your ribbon in either side and stick it down and that will give you your little hook to hang it on so that's if you want to do it that way and then obviously you'll put your pictures in this way so I, in this case I just rotate that picture that way okay and that will give you 
this effect here. But I want to do those little pockets, so mine's going to be slightly different. So what you want to do is, you'll do this as well if you're doing the normal way. What I'm going to do now is stick down my two kind of toppers either end here. So I've just got these plain one for the bottom and then I've got this one for the top. So I know that this is my, my first one. So keep that one there. What you want to do is grab two bits of ribbon. So you'll need four pieces all together, two for each end. And these measure um, six, just say six and a half, that'd be okay. All right. And then I'm just gonna take off. And you just wanna stick one on about half an inch in in the middle of the square on both sides like so okay these are velvet so I've got the velvet side facing me but then you want to what I'll do is I'll just put another little bit of red tape over the top like so. of that velvet and then get your top and make sure if you've already got your sentiment on it's facing the right way and you basically just want to lie this down because it will give you this these ones measure so this is a three by three square and I just cut these from my nest of square framelits and this is three and one eighth of an inch so it just gives you a nice overhang of one eighth of an inch so I'm gonna just line this up just so that basically I've got a piece of it hanging over each side, like so. Okay, and now you can see when that comes together, whoop, there's my top with the two pieces of ribbon on either side ready to tie up. So now rotate it so you've got this side and you just want to do exactly the same. Okay, so I've just popped my ribbon on there, and again, I'm just going to stick this one down. And so it's nice and straight. And there you have it. So basically, you just fold it all together. Obviously, you'll have your photos in it. And then, first of all, I'll do up this end. Okay, so yeah, if you want to do the belly band, so basically, I don't score this, so just this would have been the length of um, my A4 card, so what's that, 11 and 5 eighths of an inch, so I just um, cut that to an inch, so 1 inch by 11 and 5 eighths, or 11, or 12, whatever you've got. Lie the, so say this is the, um, this is the ribbon, lie that over the top, and then just the card, sorry, lie that over the top so it's in the center, and then just bring your card up and fold it over the top, and then just pop on a little, you know, disc um, square, anything you want in your sentiment, um, and then just pinch the sides there, but that's how I do them, don't worry about scoring and stuff, you don't need to. Um, but there you have it, how cute. I just think they're so sweet, really, really lovely. So there's that one, that one. So I've got three now. I think I'm gonna do one more because I've got another idea as well. Um, and then that one's gonna hang on my wall. But there's the belly band just to show you anyway. Okay. So I hope you like okay. this tutorial. Please hit the thumbs up um, if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.